Welcome to Red Top 5 channel. Here are 5 of the most dangerous. So do not go anywhere and be with us. Hello and welcome to the Red Top 5 channel. Please subscribe us and if this video is interesting for you press the like button and leave your comments for us in the comments section. 5 Beautiful and Unusual Graves in the World There are many things in the world to surprise all people, but sometimes I come across things that are more than surprise and cause us fear. In this section, you will get acquainted with 5 structures for the grave that have a very strange appearance compared to the rest are graves. So join us. Number 5 Star Crossed Lovers in Holland These are the graves of Colonel Van Gorkum and Lady Van Efferden, who died more than 150 years ago and are still holding hands. The colonel was a Protestant with no noble ties, and Lady Van Efferden was an aristocratic Catholic. Their marriage in 1842 was a huge scandal. Colonel Van Gorkum was buried in the Protestant cemetery at Roermond when he died in 1880. His wife made it obvious that she did not want to be buried in her family's burial plot, knowing that she would be interred in the Catholic cemetery. Instead, she picked a gravesite along the wall between the two cemeteries, as close as possible to her husband's grave. Number 4 Tragedy and Romance in Paris These are the graves of Colonel Van Gorkum and Lady Van Efferden, who died more than 150 years ago and are still holding hands. The mausoleum and gravestones of Georges Rodenbach, a 19th-century Belgian writer, are among the most magnificent in Père Lachaise Cemetery in Paris. A bronze figure of Rodenbach may be seen coming from his tomb, holding a single rose in his hand. Rodenbach's mausoleum is dramatic and beautiful, as is his literature. His best-known work, Bruges Lamort, is a symbolic book about a widower living in Bruges who is having to live with grief following the loss of his wife. Number 3 The Grave That Keeps Growing Over the decades, this mausoleum in Samarkand, Uzbekistan, has grown to incredible lengths. It is claimed to be the ultimate resting place of Daniel, the Old Testament prophet, and local mythology claims that his body continued to expand after he died, resulting in an 18-meter-long tomb. According to legend, Daniel's ashes were interred in Samarkand for good luck by Timur, a Turko-Mongol leader who conquered sections of Persia and Central Asia. The reality behind the rising burial is that Timur was afraid about robbers and decided to enlarge the tomb to make it more difficult for them to pillage the valuable bones. Number 2 A Burial Facing the Open Sky The Blue Sky Mausoleum in Forest Lawn Cemetery in Buffalo, New York, was designed by revolutionary American architect Frank Lloyd Wright in honor of his close friend and supporter, Darwin D. Martin. Between 1925 and 1928, Wright and Martin discussed the unusual tomb extensively, but it was not completed during either of their lifetimes die in 2004, Wright's former apprentice, architect Anthony Putnam, collaborated with Forest Lawn Cemetery to bring the two friends' vision to life. The memorial, rather than being a grave, is based on comprehensive designs and ideas by Wright. Number 1 The Artist's Assistant and His Colorful Cat this colorful monster may be seen among the Victorian mausoleums and granite tombstones of Paris's Montparnasse Cemetery. This tombstone, known as Ricardo's Cat, stands about 1.5 meters tall and is covered with mosaic tiles. Nikki de saint Fel created the odd headstone for her aide, Ricardo Menon, who died in 1989 at the age of 37. To our companion Ricardo who died too soon, handsome, youthful, and adored, says the gravestone at the cat's feet. Thank you for being with us until the end of this video. If you like this video, please like it and press the subscribe button to support us. Also send us your comments and suggestions in the comments section or via email. We are happy to be able to improve the quality of our work according to your comments and suggestions. Goodbye.